Science Beetle. Hey, welcome back students. Uh, it's Science Beetle and Math 101. Today we're going to continue on our conversation and do the second part of the uh, greatest common factors and least common multiples discussion, but this time we're going to focus on the least common multiples. Okay? And so when we talk about least common multiples, uh, what we're really referring to is when you have a certain number and you can multiply it, and that number is going to be like, the number is going to be times 2, it's going to be times 3, times 4, so on and so forth. And so an example of this is, for example, if you take 2. So a multiple of 2 is going to be 4. Why? Because we take the number, multiply it times 2, and then we get 4. Okay, so another multiple of 2 is going to be 6. And that's going to be when you take 2, multiply times 3, you get 6. When you multiply by 4, you get 8. Then times 5 is 10, times 6 is 12, times 7 is 14, and you can keep going on and on and on. All of these here are going to be multiples of 2. Okay? And so the least common multiples uh, comes into play because what you're doing then is going to be comparing two numbers. So, for example, if I had another number, and let's put this number as a 4, which is going to be... Uh, which are the multiples of 4? And so when you go through this and you do the multiplication, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20, and you can go on and on and on and on. But the least common multiple is going to be the number that is found in both of these multiples that is common to the first number and the second number. Since the first number is a 2, Let's see what number is in common with multiples of 4. And we notice right off the bat that the 4 is common to the 4. Also, the 8 is going to be common for both of them. And if we keep on going, we look at the 16 is also go common to both. And we'll find as we, if, as we move to the right over here, we'll find that we're going to find more and more and more of these common numbers. But what we're going for here is the least common multiple. And since that, we could definitely put 16, but 16 is not the smallest, so we're going to rule the 16s out. We can look at the 8s, but 8s is greater than 4, so we're going to rule the 4s out. And so that leaves that the 4s are going to be the least common multiples. And we'll write that as least common multiple is equal to 4. Let's try another problem. Let's say that we have two numbers here. Let's say that we have 8 and we have 12. And let's find the least common multiple common to both. And so I'll just draw a line here so we can separate these out. And we know that if we start with the first one, our first multiple is going to be 8. And then let's do the 8 first. So 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 6 is 48, and we can go on, but let's go ahead and stop there. Now let's try the 12. 12 times 1 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times 3 is 36. 12 times 4 is going to be 48. 4 times 5 is going to be 60. So we'll go ahead and stop there, and let's look to see if uh, either the 8 or the 12 have any numbers in common. And when we do that, we find that, in fact, we have a 24 that's common to both, and we have a 48 that's common to both. Now, which is greater, the 48 or the 24? The 48. What we're looking for here is the least common, and so the number with the least value. And so, obviously, that's not going to be 48, so we can scratch the 48s out. And in this particular problem, the least common multiple is going to be 24. All right? One more problem. So, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and try this other problem. Let's try 15 and 25. And let's figure out what the multiples of these two are going to be. Again, we're looking for the least common multiple. And so, let's do this here. 15 times 1 is 15. That's what we've got here. 15 times 2 is 30. 15 times 3 is going to be 45. 15 times 4 is going to be 60. 15 times it's going to be 75. 
15 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is going to be 90. And let's go ahead and stop there. Let's go ahead and try now the 25. 25 times 1 is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. 20 times 3, 25 times 3 is 75. Times 4 is 100. And we'll stop there. And now we look for the numbers that are common to both. And if I look at the 15s, I'm going to see that the only number that I see up there that's going to be at the bottom is going to be 75. Now, we can keep going on this line up here on top and on the bottom. But what you're going to find is if you keep going to the right, you're going to see that the numbers get greater. Right? And so if it's greater, it's really not going to be the lowest number that's common to both. The lowest number that's common to both in this case is going to be 75. And so for this problem, the lowest common multiple is going to be 75. All right. In the next couple of lessons, we'll talk a little bit more about why this is important in terms of the least common multiples and the greatest common factors. Um, and so hopefully you can uh, catch us at that lesson. For now, subscribe us, and we'll see you soon.